Wes, thanks for that explainer there. It may be easy to forget, but a lot of the food we buy at grocery stores like this come from farms. So when you think about the impact this winter weather is having, you and I may be watching it to determine our holiday plans, but farmers throughout the metro and beyond are watching it because this may impact us beyond the storm. KSHB 41 News anchor Bryant Madrick with that story. You're looking at some happy cows. They like the colder weather, but, but to, to, an, to a certain extreme. The extremes arrive Thursday. The challenges? Trying to keep every, all the water troughs unthawed, uh, trying to keep everything, all the animals warm, comfortable, happy. In order to keep them happy, Shadow Farms is getting ready. Outside, huts and extra hay provide warmth. At the milking barn, curtains block wind and snow, and teats are dipped with a special solution to prevent frostbite. Farm manager and herdsman George Torres says that's not all. This is where we bump up our protein energy levels for these girls through these extreme cold weathers to where they can keep their bodies warm. Farmers are used to severe weather and as you can see, preparations are already in place. I spoke with two k State experts who tell me that the work that is happening here and on other farms is absolutely vital in protecting an important investment. If we see um, a large amount of cattle or any livestock, um, not make it through some, some type of event, of course, we would see effects in the grocery store. That's Blair Todd, a livestock agent with K-State. She says that's not likely with a short weather event, but there could be long-term impacts for other farmers. Her colleague Sandra Wick says pay close attention to soil temperatures and a crop like wheat. If we have the potential for some wheat damage or some uh, winter kill, then there could be some price indications on bread products. During the storm, you'll probably enjoy products these cows help make, like milk or cheese. But it won't be a snow day for George and his crew. We'll still be hard at work. I mean, this is what we love. This is what we live for, and this is what we breathe. We love this. In Clinton County, Missouri, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.